Welcome to another one of my Fire Emblem videos. This time we'll be going over the walkthrough for the game. And in this case, we'll start from the very beginning, the prologue battle. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. So this is the point in the game where your very first battle, where you'll learn all of the basics. If you are not familiar with Fire Emblem games or haven't played a single one before or have no idea what you're getting yourself into, it's a good idea to pay a lot of attention, but this fight is in no, by no means difficult. You've only got four controllable characters, but in the event of an emergency, Gerald is going to take care of a lot of things. Now, I'm playing on normal casual. It, again, it will not make a big difference here, but I play on normal casual just because I want to show you what will happen rather than show you the most pressing and accurate techniques right now to win a fight. Stay focused. It really doesn't matter, just follow all of Gerald's instructions. Now, it's important to note that the main character, Byleth, has a sword, Dimitri has a lance, Edelgard's got an axe, and Claude has bows. And the reason why this is important is because there is a weapon triangle, it's not as frequently displayed in this game, but it is... There is a difference between using different types of weapons against each other, and you will have the chance to explore this with Dimitri, Edelgard, and Byleth. Claude's the exception because Claude has a bow and arrow, and thus Claude's specialty won't actually present itself unless you're at range. Now you can build support and level up people here, but there is nothing really big or commitment changing here. Just play whatever is comfortable for you. As you can see, I'm skipping through a lot of things. It doesn't really make a big difference because it's really important just to pay attention and get used to each character in the fight. Gerald will start talking about getting into terrain. Really, you'll notice the benefits in the top left corner. For example, if I dive into the forest, I get bonus evasion and extra defense, so attacks won't hurt nearly as much. But even if you don't use the terrain, it's not very difficult to win. Because these four characters are actually quite strong. If you do get into a spot of trouble, each character also comes with a vulnerary, and you are able to use that like a potion. It'll cost a turn, but it'll heal you right back up in the event that you've oh, extended yourself a little bit too far. Nothing wrong with that, by the way, because yes. you're learning how to play the game. Is that all? Thank you. Please. Don't, don't worry too much about building support or making the most of your moments here. The point of this game is, or the point of this battle, I should say, isn't to make the most optimal decisions. It's just to get used to the game. This means getting used to positioning yourself, making the right moves, understanding that a bow has more than one attack space, which is important for ranged attacks, and so on and so forth. It's not about, oh, well, I've got to build my support up with... Edelgard or Dimitri, because look, if you're not gonna pick their houses, you can only pick one. Should not be. This should not be a spoiler alert. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter which option or what which character you choose to bond with, because quite frankly, you will have many more chances to gain experience and bond with characters as time goes on. Be mindful. Now, my main character got a little bit stupidly beaten up, so I'll just use a. You don't need to, I'm just being stupid because this is a tutorial and I want to show you everything. But by and large, there should be nothing, no surprises. Even the main boss, which is that mercenary over there, is really easy to put down with Attack when just three of your main char characters. Position call right there. Everyone's going to focus on Dimitri, that's okay Stay with focused. me because, well... Oh, no, they're gonna focus on the main character. Well, it doesn't really matter. As I said, you'll just be fighting out of cover. But by and large, you should have no real surprises. If you are having trouble in this mission, I do recommend playing it again. 
for the sole reason that there are just too many important basics that you need to get right. Even though you'll go over a lot of other things later, you, it is very important to make sure that you know what you're doing in the heat of a battle because more advanced concepts will be thrown at you. I expected. But I'm just going to end this right now. In order to end the battle, you just really have to beat the bad guy. Or the boss character, which you can tell with the yellow symbol on him. Yep. Byleth has leveled up. Again, don't worry too much about who gets that final kill or the experience, because it's not important. Now, cutscene will play, a little story things. I'm just going to skip over that, because that's not relevant to the battle. And once you get the stage complete sign, the battle is over. And you'll get whoever got the most kills, did the most damage, or whatnot. But that is the prologue tutorial battle in a nutshell. Nothing too difficult, nothing too complicated. I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough, and if you really enjoyed videos like these, please do subscribe. There will be more like these in the 